Namaste. I want to show how I work with Word documents and Sanskrit texts. Uh, what we've been done, what we have done is actually uh, converting all kinds of converters mm, from different sources to VBA. It means they can work in MS Word, MS Excel. Uh, so, for example, we have an EAS text in Latin letters representing some Sanskrit text. And we want to make it, for example, we want to make it um, we want to make it uh, Harvard Kyoto. Okay, here we got it, Harvard Kyoto. Great, great. Uh, what if we want to check some word for uh, for a dictionary entry? Like, uh, let's say, um, let's let's have it like this. Uh, if I press F4, I will get this word in my copy word. And if I launch, for example, Sandic, the Sanskrit dictionary, I don't even have to copy that word. It has already been copied. I only have to paste it. You see? I did not press copy past, I press only past. This is F4. So there is no such word, but there is uh, some similar words. Okay, so that's about it. I can have Harvard Kyoto. F3 is for converting the Harvard Kyoto. F4 uh, is like control C you copy it and you paste it you can paste it on a website wherever Harvard Kyoto is widely used on the internet okay so what what else can we do with the text so you just you can you, you what you need to do is select it select it and uh, let's say press F9 okay so what we did, what we did is, before every word in it runs, we have a word, the same word in Devanagari, in the old German type. The type can be changed; it's not an issue. You can have it in um, whatever you want. And in Word, you can in use text with same style and do it at once okay no issues if you want if you want to have uh, let's get back I lost the text uh, let's copy past it here charter and make it big okay so next would come F7 so same text in Devanagari above got it so we have iterants and we can leave iterants and just add some Devanagari above it. Okay, so and what if we have only Devanagari? So no iterants. We can select it and press F5, which means we get back to iterants. So it's F5. And I wonder if uh, I wonder if I wonder if. I can make it back to Devanagari. Uh, there might be a way. Let's see. Okay, so it. Oh, 
it's F8. It's F8. Okay, you got it. Looks great. Great. There is one more, which I'm not actually sure it works right now. It's F6. It's Devanagri on the left from the Etrans text, uh, but I there was some error with it. It will be working. Let's see, F6, F6. Yeah, it's it should be it shouldn't be below. It should be right after it, so it should be like here. Uh, but that'll be fixed. That's not a big issue. So there will be several more ways. So you can convert from a Unicode text to a Sanskrit 102, which is a non-Unicode text from Sanskrit 102 to Sanskrit 2003, which is a Unicode font. Then you can do the same thing in a table, actually, but that's like you should press Control F5, Control F6. So if you have some table, like a Sanhi table, you can make it Devanagari as well. It just takes show you one thing there is a, a nice document on this one okay Sanskrit 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 okay lectures and here we go Okay, this file was compiled using this macros, this script. This is what we can have. All I had is just was a list of the itrans names of signatures, and I get them in different fonts and different colors. So the green one is Sanskrit 2003, the blue one is Siddhanta, 